Hello friends, this is our second session on file sensor. In our previous session, we saw a basic example of file sensor. This one will be slightly advanced. Let us try to understand the requirement. Basically, I want to read a file from a folder where each day a new file with a timestamp, date, time would be present. So the way our ETL would be, ETL would start based on the execution date, it will generate the file name and we will push the file name using XCOM push and that file name will be retrieved by the file sensor. The file sensor will then poke the folder to see if the file is available. In case the file is not available, it will be rescheduled or it will be set to a poke mode for a set interval. And after set interval, again, the file sensor will poke the folder to check if the file is available. In case the file is available, our processing step will get executed. In case the file is not available after a certain time interval and timeout happens, the code will end, the DAG will end. However, if the file is available and in that case, the code, which is the logic which you might have written for processing the file, will get executed and the code will end successfully. So basically this is the step that we are going to code in our file sensor to DAG. I now move on to the code file. First step, we are importing some packages as usual. Second step, this is a function where we are going to generate the file name based on the execution date, the date when the code, the DAG is running. Based on that DAG run date, we will generate a file name and the file name would be something like this, transaction underscore data underscore and the date in yyymmdd format. So that would be the format. So I'll just put it here, txn data yyymmdd dot csv. Okay. This is the function where you will have to write the logic of processing the file. I leave it to you. I have simply put the print statement. Okay, as usual, we have some default arguments. We now create the DAG. Now in this DAG, I've named the DAG as file sensor example two, and I have scheduled it to execute daily. And start date I have put from 1 Jan 2025. Catch up equal to true. Catch up is equal to true, which means there will be backfill. Okay, which means in case I have not read data for last two days, then the code will run from two days before. Okay. This is the Python operator where we are going to call the Python callable get file name. The logic is uh, written here. And it requires an argument, the execution date. So what is this double braces DS? This is a Jinja template variable which represent the execution date. And here I'm also setting provide context is equal to true. 
the reason I have put provide context equal to true is because this function I want it should have the context variables. The important context variable here is task instance. I could have directly typed uh, ti here. Okay. Task instance you can directly access and you could have written the code without kwrs you could have directly used ti anyways because my code is running now i'll not disturb that code so from kwrs i'll take the task instance and i'm going to push the file name okay this specific syntax is to push the file name as you know one operator when it push the information, you have to use XCOM. Only then using XCOM pull, the other operator can have the same information available. So in the next step, which is my file sensor. Here, the most important thing is my file name has to be dynamic. And this is where we are going to do task instance xcom pull the variable which was created and pushed by our function task generate file name this is our previous task that file name i'm going to pull here one more important thing it is going to look for this file in which folder so here i have file connection id file storage connection id where do i create this file storage connection id you need to create this in your web server so let me go to my web server here in admin you will have connections and there are many predefined connections i have taken one of the connections which was created fs default this one you can create your own i'll say edit just to show you and in this fs connection you need to put the path of the folder from where you are going to pull the file you are going to read the file okay you can name any give any other name also I'll come back. So this is my FS connection ID. This is the folder from where we are going to pull the read the file. Other parameters, poke interval after every 10 second, it will try to see whether the file is available in the folder. Mode, I have set poke. We can have mode is equal to poke or mode is equal to reschedule. We have discussed about poke and reschedule mode in our previous session. You may refer that. And once the file sensor has found the file, we need to run the processing. So this is our third task, which is Python operator. The logic for processing the file is given in this process file i mentioned i have not put any logic i have just simply put print you can write your logic here our objective is main to understand file sensor and how dynamic file names can be given these three tasks generate file name wait for file and process file task. I have set the task dependencies. This is how it is. This is the entire code. For typing this code, you may pause the video, type it. I'll now show you execution in web server. Okay. Here my file sensor example 2 has been paused. I will unpause it. And let us go and see 
active DAGs. The DAG has become active and I can see seven executions running. Why seven executions are running? Okay. Reason is we have start date is equal to 1 Jan 2025 and today is basically my uh, 8th of January. So we have seven sessions running and schedule interval has been set as daily. Let us see one of the DAG run instance. And when I come here, I see generate file name is success. Let's see the log. It has generated a file name. Transaction date 2025-0101. Let us see the second one. Once again, we'll see here. And let us see the log. This has generated transaction data 250102.csv. But all of these DAGs have stopped at wait for file because they are waiting for the file to be available in the folder. Which folder? The folder which we mentioned in the FSCon ID. So what I will have to do, I will have to come here and go to my input folder, which is somewhere here. And I will have to create a file by the naming convention. So I'll say, txn underscore data underscore 2025 let me say 0201 dot csv okay the file has been created we will see what happens to this tag logs received Terminating sub process. Why? Was my timeout too short? Not sure. Let us have this one. I, this is one for 07. So let me create one more. New file. TXN. txn underscore data 2025 zero one oh the file is not available naming convention was wrong zero seven dot csv and this should have been rename zero one is the month zero two let me now put zero three okay and here we come here zero three dag Okay, 03 and 07 are success. Let us go back and change one of these names. Rename. Let us make it 06. And let us make it 02. For 02, I had got the error. 06 is done. 02, I had got error probably because of that. Okay, that error was something else. So you can see the process file is also now green. These three processes of DAG, which are in light green color, they are still waiting for the file. With this, we have understood how to dynamically give the file name. We will have to use task instance, XCOM push, XCOM pull. These I have already explained in my previous videos. You may have to refer those videos. I hope you find this video helpful.
If yes, please like the video, share it with your friends, colleagues. Thank you.